The first trailer for Apple TV highly anticipated sports documentary Underrated was released last week. Presented by Apple Original Film and A24, Underrated is a feature-length film that tells the story of Steph Curry, one of the most influential, dynamic, and unexpected players in basketball history. The film blends intimate archival footage and on-camera interviews to document Curry's rise from an undersized college player at a small-town Division I college to a four-time NBA champion, building one of the most dominant sports dynasties in the world. The documentary will explore Curry's childhood and upbringing in Charlotte, North Carolina, where he was raised by his parents, Dell and Sonia Curry. It will also look at his college career at Davidson College, where he led the Wildcats to the Elite Eight in 2008. After being drafted by the Golden State Warriors in 2009, Curry quickly established himself as one of the best shooters in the NBA. He led the Warriors to their first championship in 40 years in 2015, and they have since won three more titles. The documentary will also explore Curry's off-the-court life, including his marriage to Aisha Curry and his role as a father of three. It will also look at his impact on the game of basketball and his status as one of the most popular athletes in the world. The trailer begins with NBA and Indiana Pacers legend, and now TNT commentator Reggie Miller saying you should not rely on Steph to run a team as a reference to what NBA scouts used to think of Steph before he got drafted. Stephen Curry, do not rely on him to run your team. Then picture instantly shifts to a screen where Steph's achievements pop up to show how awfully wrong those scouts were. Next frame shows the legendary Duke coach Mike Krzyzewski, and the great Sports Center broadcasters Stuart Scott and Scott Van Pelt talk about Curry's looks and size. That leads to a segment voiced over by Steph himself, reflecting on his journey from an undersized guard to a basketball legend. How did I get here? I was the undersized scrawny kid that was just trying to figure out how to make it. Next segment shows Steph's injuries issues at the start of his NBA career and how he worked his ass off to recover from those ankle injuries early on. Next segment focus on Steph's Davidson days and how he carried the 10th seeded Wildcats to the Elite Eight in an unlikely 2008 NCAA tournament run. Davidson College to the Sweet 16. The trailer shows LeBron James enjoying the play of the young Steph. LeBron had front row seats to a Sweet 16 matchup between Wisconsin and Davidson. With LeBron watching, the Wildcats earned a 73-56 victory, with Curry dropping 33 points and hitting six of his 11 three-point attempts. For many, 2008 would mark the introduction of Curry to the national stage. The next segments in the trailer push the underrated narrative with Steph's mother talking on how he had to prove himself right instead of proving other people's wrong. It's not about proving other people wrong. It's about proving himself right. Then Steph closes the trailer with him saying the underrated feeling is part of the drive that keeps him going while the trailer shows pictures of his latest championship in 2022. And that feeling of being underrated, always being part of the drive that keeps me going. Steph finally won his first finals MVP in that 2021-22 Warriors run. By many, this was the last missing piece in Steph's resume and it validated him as one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. The documentary will explore how Steph changed the game. With his unparalleled shooting ability, audacious range, and unrivaled skill set, Curry has revolutionized the game of basketball in ways that few could have imagined. From redefining the importance of three-point shooting to inspiring a new generation of players, Steph's impact on the sport extends far beyond his individual achievements. The doco could take a close look on Steph's first regular season MVP and first championship and how he proved the doubters who said this was a fluke season wrong as he completely took over the NBA the next season, leading the Warriors to an historic 73-9 winning record and becoming the first ever NBA's unanimous MVP of the regular season. The doco could also feature Steph's iconic NBA games such as his 54 points explosion in Madison Square Garden back in 2013. Curry hyped up the New York crowd with 11 three-pointers. Curry now for three. Got it! What a night for Steph Curry. Curry for three. Wow! Unbelievable! Making it rain in New York. Curry, why not? For three! Bingo! And the Knicks crowd is stunned. Curry off the screen. Got enough room. Again! Butter! Steph Curry! His 11th three of the night! That moment on that stage launched Curry to the front of the NBA's collective consciousness. Curry was still two years removed from his first MVP, but on that evening,
he offered a glimpse of what was to come. His own greatness, but also the league-changing revolution he would spark. If the Daco will go in a chronological order, the next game it'll feature would be the last game of the 2012-13 regular season against the Blazers where Curry broke the record for most threes made in a single season for the first time. Curry from deep. There's the record! He stands alone as the best three-point shooter in a single season in NBA history. 270 and still not done. Steph passed the 269 Ray Allen made with the Sonics in 2006. Overall, Curry had 272 made three-pointers this season, accomplishing the total in 53 fewer attempts than Allen did. The next game on the list would be once again against the Blazers, as Steph pushed past his single-season mark of 272 three-pointers with a shot from the top of the arc. And it goes, the outlet to Curry. He'll tee up the three for the record. He got it! All-time NBA record, 273 made three-point shots for the marksman, Stephen Curry. He ended the season with 286 made three-pointers and shot 44.3% from deep as Golden State won 67 games and eventually its first NBA title in 40 years. Next defining performance of Steph would be in a thriller against the OKC Thunder in February 27, 2016, as Curry broke his single-season three-pointers made mark for the third time. Steph finished with 12 three-pointers in the game, including the long-distance game winner with 0.6 left to seal the win for Golden State. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry with six-tenths of a second remaining! Overall, Steph finished with an astounding record-setting 402 three-pointers made in that 2015-16 season. The Doko might also showcase Steph's I'm Back game from the 2016 playoffs. After spraining his knee against the Houston Rockets in the first round of the playoffs, Curry made his awaited return against the Blazers in Game 4 of the Western Conference semifinals. With the game going to overtime, Steph snapped an NBA record, scoring 17 points in the extra period to blast past the Blazers, 132-125. to With just under two minutes remaining in overtime, Curry splashed a deep three-pointer from the top of the key, forcing the Blazers to call a timeout. Curry left wide, open, right between the eyes. As the teams were walking to the bench, Curry famously called out, I'm here, I'm back. And he tells the fans, I am back, I am back. Oh, he is, in a big way too. The next game the Doko might feature is game six of the 2019 Western Conference semifinals against the Houston Rockets. The game was tied at 57 at the half, and the most unbelievable part was that Steph went scoreless in the two initial quarters. And a surprising first half comes to an end. Steph Curry scoreless. The dubs were without the injured Kevin Durant, and Steph knew he had to show up in the second half to eliminate the James Harden and Chris Paul-led Rockets team. Curry had a good third quarter with 10 points on three of seven to help pull the Warriors within five. Then he took over in the fourth quarter. Curry long distance, that's a three. And it's back to one again. Curry launches a three-pointer, puts it in. Steph Curry from downtown. And the lead is five for Golden State. Curry on the drive, gets past Lamb. Bank shot is good. Steph Curry coming alive for the second straight game in the fourth quarter. Down the stretch, he and his fellow splash brother, Clay Thompson, dropped the final daggers to put an end to the CP and Harden Rockets era. Curry with Tucker right with him. Curry launches a three, puts it in again. Steph Curry from downtown. Thompson for three. Bang! And that'll do it. The Golden State Warriors advance to their fifth consecutive Western Conference Final. For the second straight year, they eliminate the Rockets here in Houston. Steph finished with 33 points, five boards, and four assists. Next, the Doko would feature Steph's career high in points, which took place on March 3rd, 2021. Curry from Stop. deep. 59! <laughs> Why not? Draymond finds him another three. Oh. Got it! 62! 62! Steph scored 62 points in 36 minutes while shooting 18 for 31 from the field and 8 for 16 on three-pointers. This next event will most certainly be featured in the doco as on December 14th, 2021, Steph became the league's all-time leader in career three-pointers. During the Warriors' 105-96 victory over the Knicks at Madison Square Garden, Steph
Steph dropped a pair of first quarter triples to move past Ray Allen to become the ultimate three-pointers king. Steph, three, there it is! NBA three-point history. Stephen Curry stands alone as the most dominant distance shooter the game has ever seen. 2,974 threes and counting. The next performance the Doko might feature is the one from the 2022 NBA All-Star Game, when Steph, who got booed by the Cleveland crowd prior to the game, thanked the Cavs fans for their appreciation. Then he moved on and dropped 50 points and 16 threes, an NBA All-Star Game record. At the end, it was a no-brainer. Steph got to be the second player to accept the Kobe Bryant All-Star Game MVP trophy. The next two games the Doko will feature would be games four and six of the 2022 NBA Finals against the Celtics. Trailing Boston two to one in the finals, Curry exploded for 43 points and 10 boards to lead Golden State to a 107-97 victory in a must-win game four. Back to Curry, three-pointer, bang! Steph Curry drills the three. The NBA Finals are tied at two games apiece as the brilliance of Steph Curry on full display here in Boston. Then in game six, after beating the Celtics, Steph finally got the Finals MVP trophy. The one honor that had eluded Curry in his career, he took it masterfully in those finals. Curry along three. That's good! Steph Curry from way downtown! Mama, there goes that man and then says, put a ring on it. The 2022 Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP award goes to Stephen Curry! Of course, the Doko will push the narrative of the petty king Steph after winning his fourth championship and how he proved those experts wrong with the famous zero sign Steph held in a reference to the ESPN commentators who said the Warriors will win zero championships before the 2021-22 season started. The Doko will also return to Steph's press conference in 2021 after the Warriors got eliminated by the Grizzlies in the play-in games, with Steph saying teams would not want to face the Warriors next year. You don't want to see us next year. The one moment from the 2022-23 season that could be featured is Steph's Game 7 performance against the Kings in the first round of the playoffs. Steph dropped 50 points in a legendary performance, but had an epic speech prior to the game. Steph isn't one of those locker room leaders that typically gives impassioned speeches to the team, but before a film session to prepare for Game 7 against the Kings, he had all ears on him. The documentary is directed by Peter Nix. Nix has said that he wanted to make a film that would capture the essence of Curry's greatness, and he believes that the documentary will do just that. Tell us in the comments what is your favorite Steph Curry memory, and if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. For even more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Vintage Dawkins, and follow us on social media.